We have uh, two amendments to the agenda that I have. Maybe someone else may have one. Kyle was asked to uh, talk to us for just a moment. And then uh, under executive session, I'm going to put a fifth item, which is the 124 properties tax tertiary preparation. Are there any other uh, amendments to the agenda? Okay, with that then, uh, I'm going to put Kyle's first so that he's going to go to work. So uh, Kyle, would you like to thank speak? You. speak? Thank you guys for accommodating me last minute. Um, basically, just to fill the public in on background, a few months back the county was offering energy efficiency grants, and it was actually stimulus money being funneled through the counties. And I thought it would be a good idea for the village to look into it. And I thought that determining whether solar energy for the sewage plant would be cost effective. So I decided to apply for an energy efficiency study. And one of the ways that you got bumped up on the list was if you did it with the school district or municipality. I said, you know, we're, there's a town and a school district. I talked to both of them. I spoke to Goshen Schools. They were kind enough to say yes. They would co-sign in here. I sat down with Supervisor Bloomfield. And I believe I might have spoke to uh, Council Newell as well. Supervisor Bloomfield and Council Newell. Um, and Walt said you would discuss it with the board. You did, and then you guys got back to me almost probably within an hour and gave me the go ahead to put you guys on as co-signers. And we were fortunate enough to be awarded that grant I found out this week. We're going to be getting roughly $5,000 to put towards looking into this energy efficiency study. I know solar would be feasible for plant. As we all know, the cost of electric plant is huge, so it's worth looking into whether or not it works out or needs to be seen. But I believe one of the reasons why we got the full amount that we asked for was because we had intermunicipal cooperation listed on there. So I just want to formally, on behalf of myself and the rest of the village board, thank the town board, each individually um, from the bottom of our hearts for agreeing to help us out. You know, obviously, uh, times are trying, we always agree, but the fact that you know, we were able to find that common ground, you guys helped us out, um, was a nice service to those board and village. So I just want to thank you guys personally. As you can see, that the town is always willing to cooperate. Thank you. 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 Uh, now it's open to the public. Does anybody like to talk about any of the items on the agenda as a cruise of floor item? Okay, if not, I'd like to go into old business. As many of us know, as all of us know, uh, the town is a, we made application for a community development block grant um, from to the county, but it's federal money. It was $287,000 altogether uh, for, to reclaim and rework uh, Jessup Switch Road. Uh, we went out for bids, and uh, only uh, there were many, many companies that, that got the bid package. It was an ominous thing, it was about this thick. And, and evidently, uh, a lot of contracts said, you know, just too, too big a job to, to bid on it. So, in terms of the, the, I don't want to use the word red tape, but the pr things you got to do to compete for it. But anyway, we got one bid. And uh, uh, from the Peckman Materials Corporation. And they are, in fact, in the reclamation business. And so, anyway, we've been dealing with the community development block grant people. Uh, Julian Fazzino, who is the director, I guess, of that group, and Sean Hoffman, our professional engineer, who's been working with us on this. And so what I want to do tonight is talk a little bit about uh, a letter that I received today from him and also a couple of telephone conversations. But the couple of things. The first thing is, is that the bid that we received was for 5,000 feet of road. And the bid was $187,260. Versus the, the amount of money that we can get is $287,000. And we, the board, understand this because what happened was 
we wanted to build a full 9,000 of the, of the road, but we really weren't sure that the money would go that far. So what we did, we started the Florida side of Jessup Switch Road, came all the way through the black dirt, all the way by all of the houses, which was the important part first. And that's what this $187,000 covers. But what the, the county is saying, and it's supported by our engineers, is that on a unit basis, we can spend up to the 287000 so we will probably get most, if not all, the road done. But it really depends on what the, the condition the road is that they're doing, the original 5,000 feet. If they have to do a lot of sub-base work, or dig down and put a lot more stone in, particularly in the black dirt area, it could be much more costly, and the 187,000 may be consumed early on. But there were several caveats on this. Number one is, is that, uh, uh, our engineer has a lot of experience with this company. They do good work and they're very reputable. And, and our engineer thinks that based on his anal analysis that this is a very good bid. Even though we got one bid, it's a very good bid. A couple of things. It, uh, we've had a legal review by our attorney who says, yep, it's uh, okay. Here, makes sense. Uh, there's another caveat about financing, and um, we're just going to read some of this. Uh, in addition, we spoke with Assistant Director Fazino, Fazino about the possibility of extending this project limits to utilize available grant funds to rehabilitate a greater portion of the roadway. And it was going toward the full 9,000 feet versus 5,000 feet. We were advised that the town could do so by change order. So at some point in time, once we get into this, we will have to process a change order. Then the Orange County Office of Community Development will reimburse the town for expenses incurred in connection with this project. We have, the town has already put some new culverts in and done some work in preparation for this rehabilitation of the road. Prior to making the award, we should confirm with Attorney Kaplicki and your financing department that adequate funds are available for financing this project. So I talked to Dennis and I talked to uh, our budget officer today. We have in excess right now of $400,000 in investments, these are CDs, etc., interest bearing accounts, that we will utilize between now and the end of the year to pay our people and pay expenses and power bills and so forth. The so we have four hundred thousand between four and five hundred thousand. After talking with Sean Hoffman, our engineer, he said that the reimbursement period should be about thirty days. So what the bill will come in, we will pay it, we'll send it over to the county and within 30 days will be reimbursed by the county. Come October, this is going to be very, very critical because you're getting near the end of the year and your working funds are going to be minimized. But it's still a good thing to do and I would support to the board, share with the board after talking with uh, Dennis and with the budget officer, we can be able to work through this if we really get in a hard crunch, we're just going to have to put the pressure on the community development block grant people to reimburse. <coughs> certainly within the third days. Worst case scenario is, I mean, really the worst case scenario is you probably go out and put a band in to get the money to complete the job. So there are things that we can do on the financing. So with that, um, I'm open for suggestions from the board. I think. My suggestion is, is that some. I'm going to, in fact, I'll. Do we need to do this by. Uh, you have a resolution. Is there one in there? package. Okay. No? No, I don't know. I didn't no. say okay. it. Okay, well, we sent it over. Uh, the fact that you want, I need to read it into the record. Let's do.